mankind has not yet found life on other planets, but scientists have found planets that may have a good chance. Here are 15 possible Earth-like planets discovered by scientists. Number 15, TOI 700D. TOI 700D was the first Earth-like exoplanet orbiting a distant star that was discovered by the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, which is also known as TESS for short, and its similarity with our own planet is astonishing. Scientists first began analyzing data collected by the satellite in January of 2020, and the more they find out, the more it appears as if this planet could be Earth's twin. It orbits a red dwarf star called TOI 700 and is approximately 101.4 light years away from us. The star is in the Dorado constellation and is at a later stage in life than our own sun, so has about 40% of the mass, 40% of the radius, and 50% of the heat. This means that the so-called Goldilocks zone, where researchers believe life is possible, is much closer into the star than is the case in our solar system, and TOI 700D is right in the middle of it. It's about the same size as the Earth, having been measured as having 1.7 times the mass and 1.1 times the radius, and it's thought to receive about 86% of the light and energy that we get from the Sun. Years are much shorter on TOI 700D, though, because it completes an orbit of its star in just 37.4 Earth days, and is thought to have very similar magnetic properties to the Earth, which means that it should be able to sustain an atmosphere, too. Number 14, Kepler 22b. Kepler 22b was first discovered by NASA's Kepler Space Telescope in 2011, and since then it's excited researchers because of its size and position. It was the first transiting planet to be found within the habitable zone around a star, and it's almost certain that it's possible for water to be liquid on the surface. It orbits Kepler 22, which is a star that's around 587 light years away from us in the Cygnus constellation. It's far too dim to be seen with the naked eye from Earth but it's very similar to our own sun in terms of age, size, and temperature. The planet has a radius about 2.4 times that of Earth, which means that it's substantially larger, although the exact mass has yet to be determined. Researchers refer to it as water world because of the likeliness that it's covered in a vast ocean around a small rocky core, and as a result, it's one of the top targets for researchers who are looking for where else life may exist in the universe. Number 13. KOI 456.04 In June of 2020, astronomers announced the discovery of a new Earth-like planet that's called KOI 456.04. At around 1.9 times the size of Earth, it orbits a star that's around 3,000 light-years away from us, which makes this planet one of the most distant ones that we know about. Its star is very much like our Sun, and is the same size, about the same age, and emits the same spectrum of light. The planet receives around 93% of the light and energy that reaches the Earth, which would suggest that it has an average surface temperature of around 41 degrees Fahrenheit, which is around 18 degrees cooler than our planet. This means that water can exist in liquid form on the surface, and it's therefore possible that life could be present there too. KOI 45604 is a similar distance away from its star as we are, and it completes a full orbit in 378 days. Because of its distance, however, there's a chance that it's not actually a solid planet and is instead an other object, such as a gas giant. The data that's been collected suggests that it is Earth-like, but it's hoped that the Plato mission, which is scheduled to be launched in 2026, will be able to record more precise measurements and confirm the existence of the planet once and for all. Number 12, Gliese 667cc. Approximately 23.62 light years away from our solar system, is a star called Gliese 667 CC, which forms a part of the Gliese 667 triple star system and is in the constellation of Scorpius. The existence of the planet was determined by measurements taken by the European Southern Observatory, and it lies in orbit at a perfect distance from its host star for it to have an Earth-like environment. On the face of it, though, the planet is quite different from ours, and it's classified as a super-Earth and is much bigger than our own planet, but smaller than others like Neptune and Uranus. It's thought to have a mass of at least 3.7 Earths, but is only around a tenth of the distance from its star than we are from the Sun, meaning that it completes a full orbit every 28 days. This doesn't mean it's extremely hot, though, because Gliese 667c is a red dwarf star that doesn't emit anywhere near as much energy, so the planet is thought to receive around 90% of the light that we do. It does mean, however, that its host star will appear about 5.4 times bigger in the sky of the planet than the Sun seems to us and the average surface temperature of the planet is estimated to be around 39.6 degrees Fahrenheit, which would allow water to be liquid, 
and most other chemicals to work in the same way that they do on Earth. Number 11, Kepler 186F. Kepler 186F was detected by NASA's Kepler Space Telescope and was the first exoplanet to be discovered that orbits in the habitable zone of another star and that has a similar radius to Earth. Its host star is Kepler 186, which is around 582 light years away from us. And there are at least four other planets in its solar system, although these aren't thought to be habitable. The planet has a slightly larger radius than Earth, so it's thought to have a volume that's about 1.37 times that of our own planet. But this is an estimate, and it could be that the two are much more similar in terms of size. Kepler 186f receives around 32% of the light from its star, then reaches the Earth from the Sun and its orbital position means that while it's in the potentially habitable zone, it's on the outer edges, similar to how Mars is in our solar system. Its distance from its star means that it's more difficult to determine what the atmosphere of the planet is actually like, but estimates suggest that the surface temperature should be higher than 32 degrees Fahrenheit, which would mean that water can exist as liquid. After the announcement of its discovery in 2014, Kepler-186f was seen as a candidate for alien life and became the target of a SETI investigation to see if any radio signals could be detected from it. So far, there's been no luck, but they haven't counted it out yet.